Apple cider vinegar. Don't try this at home. Seriously, don't try that at home. I'll explain in a second how I just chugged all that uh, apple cider vinegar, but first, the topic that I wanna go over today is if apple cider vinegar can help you lose weight and burn fat faster. And for those of you that have been watching my channel for quite a while now, you probably know that I'm not big on magical fixes or fat burning creams, pills, potions, or powders. When it comes to that kind of stuff, I tell it like it is. But something about apple cider vinegar makes it worth it to take a closer look. And it's not only because it's been used by people looking to improve their health for thousands of years, but it's also because there has been a lot of research and there are now so many solid studies on this drink. Apple cider vinegar is sourced from all natural ingredients and the main active component is acetic acid. Research suggests that it can help lower your blood sugar levels, which right away is a great benefit for fat loss because when your blood sugar is high, your insulin levels go up as well to deal with that blood sugar. When your insulin levels go up, you're a lot more likely to store fat instead of burning it. The reason is because when your blood sugar goes up, your body has only a couple places it can store all that glucose. The first place is in your muscles and your liver, but only a limited amount can be stored there before the excess gets stored as fat. By building more muscle and by constantly depleting your glycogen stores with a good balance of exercise and diet, you can manage your blood sugar and avoid storing fat. But one study has shown that the ability of the liver and the muscles to absorb blood sugar was increased when taking apple cider vinegar. If your muscles in your liver can take in more glucose, then that leaves less to be taken in by your fat cells. By lowering blood sugar, apple cider vinegar will also decrease your insulin levels, allowing you to have higher glucagon levels instead. This has been demonstrated in a study on rats where the ratio of insulin to glucagon was reduced. For those of you that didn't know, glucagon has pretty much the inverse function of insulin. It pulls energy from places like your fat cells when your blood sugar starts dropping low. Meaning if glucagon goes up and insulin drops down from drinking apple cider vinegar, we're setting up optimal conditions for fat loss and preventing fat storage. According to another study conducted at the Arizona State University, drinking apple cider vinegar before eating actually led to a decrease in the change of blood sugar after carbohydrate filled meals. The acetic acid in the vinegar blocks the breakdown and the absorption of starches during digestion, which ultimately decreased the spike in blood sugar after a high carb meal. By avoiding the big spike, we also avoid the big crash that comes after that initial spike. This is one of the reasons why so many people say that apple cider vinegar helps them feel more energized and, and helps them be more productive throughout the day. Another thing that people report is that they feel more full and satisfied throughout the day rather than feeling hungry. A study conducted in Sweden found that the people that consumed vinegar with their meal reported a higher level of fullness and satisfaction after eating than those that did not consume the vinegar. A big reason for this may be because vinegar has been shown to slow down the rate at which food leaves the stomach. In a small study, researchers found that taking apple cider vinegar with a starchy meal significantly slowed stomach emptying, which led to an increased feeling of fullness. Not only do a lot of people confirm that they feel more full, but many people also report a decrease in the desire to eat snacks and junk food. And research over in the UK supports this claim. By keeping blood sugar levels even throughout the day, the acetic acid serves as a natural appetite suppressant. This has obvious benefits for weight loss because if cravings and binge eating is held at bay, you can make very quick progress on the scale and with your body fat percentage. In fact, one of the biggest obstacles that I encounter with new clients that start training is getting a handle on their cravings. So if apple cider vinegar can help reduce those when it comes to this whole process of losing weight, it makes it a lot easier. And in regards to making things easier, acetic acid has been found to also help with some chronic diseases. For example, certain studies have shown that it can help lower blood pressure, decrease cholesterol, help with digestion issues, and improve immunity. And this can then cause a big chain reaction that fuels your progress. Feeling better from chronic conditions can definitely help you push yourself to work out harder and more often, leading to more fat loss over time. However, by far one of the most promising uses for apple cider vinegar that does require a little more research may be in regard to its effect on your metabolism. 
If we can increase resting metabolism, we can burn more fat throughout the day just by sitting in a chair. One animal study from Japan found that consuming vinegar may increase the production of an enzyme responsible for fat burning. This enzyme is known as AMPK, which not only increases fat burning at rest, but it also decreases fat and sugar production in the liver. The only problem with a lot of these studies is that many times they're conducted primarily on animals rather than on people. When studies are conducted on people, we don't always experience the exact same effect. In fact, sometimes we respond very differently from rats and mice, for example. However, recently there was a very thorough study conducted on humans that made me become a lot bigger of a fan of apple cider vinegar. This was a double-blind placebo-controlled study conducted on 175 obese Japanese adults. It was a 12-week long study in which one group had one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar a day, and the other group had two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar per day, and the last group instead, they just had a placebo drink. And that's all they did. There were no variations or modifications to their diets. The interesting thing was that the group that had one tablespoon lost on average about 2.6 pounds, and the group that had two tablespoons lost an average of 3.7 pounds. Meanwhile, the group that had the placebo drink ended up gaining about a pound. When the researchers looked at body fat, the group that had the one tablespoon per day lost about 0.7% body fat, and the group that had two tablespoons lost closer to 0.9% body fat. The last thing they looked at was waist circumference, and the same trend continued, with the one tablespoon group losing an average of half an inch off their waist, and the two tablespoon group losing an average of three quarters of an inch off their waist. This was the first study that showed that continuous vinegar intake reduces body weight, BMI, and body fat mass. Even though more research is needed to replicate this study's findings and to identify exactly how apple cider vinegar caused the weight loss, this study definitely helps make a case for the effect that acetic acid has on fat burning. So what if you wanted to start drinking apple cider vinegar? Do you just drink it right out of the bottle? No, this is actually juice. Do not, I repeat, do not chug apple cider vinegar. It's very dangerous for your digestive system and for your teeth. The way that you would drink apple cider vinegar would be by mixing one to two tablespoons with a glass of water. You can also add cinnamon or stevia to give it some flavor. And you can just sip on one or two of those drinks per day uh, to maintain steady blood sugar levels and burn more fat. Now, even though apple cider vinegar does sound really nice, like it almost sounds like a natural magic bullet to fat loss, you have to understand that you can't eat junk all day, wash it down with some apple cider vinegar and expect to lose weight. The type of food you consume, the amount of time you spend exercising, and your calorie intake is a lot more important than simply making this drink. I mean, consider the study done on the obese Japanese adults. The two tablespoon group that lost the most only lost 3.7 pounds in 12 weeks, and that was without changing their diet. Keep in mind, these were obese individuals that probably had a lot more weight to lose. By changing their diet, the number of pounds lost would have been way higher. One last thing that I do want to mention before I go is that just because apple cider vinegar has a lot of research to back it up doesn't automatically mean that other so-called detox drinks can help you lose weight. In fact, a lot of the detox industry is one big hoax. So just keep that in mind. In this video, I was strictly referring to just apple cider vinegar. That's it. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you're serious about burning fat, I hope at this point you understand that it's not only about drinking apple cider vinegar or some other magic drink, but it's also about following a proper diet plan as well as a solid workout plan. On my website, I have a challenge that on average is helping my clients lose 20 pounds or 5% body fat in just six weeks. And luckily, there's an at-home version of this program included. Right now, for a limited time, we're running this six-week challenge for free. The only big catch is that you have to actually earn it. And all you gotta do to earn it is stick to the plan. Be consistent. And whether you do our plan or somebody else's plan, consistency is absolutely required to have long-lasting results. With the challenge, we include a diet plan, a workout plan, and an accountability coach to guide you through the entire process. And the challenge makes you hold yourself accountable by having something to lose. Most people fail diet plans because when the going gets rough, and it will get rough, there's no incentive to stick it out. Our challenge is designed to tackle this psychological roadblock that many people face. 
The fact that you have to earn the challenge makes people actually follow through on what they say they're gonna do from day one all the way to day 42. The challenge can be found by clicking the link below in the description, or you could just visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.